All right, y'all, we are going to play around with a forensic tool called Autopsy. So go ahead and log into your machines. Once you log in, I want you to double click this forensic tool called Autopsy. All right, this is a tool we can use to analyze electric fat or <laughs> said electric. <laughs> we can use this to analyze file systems, okay? Different types of file systems. When we go to a crime scene and we extract data with our right blockers, well, that data we can extract, that we extract, we can load it up into autopsy and analyze it. Okay, so let's hit open case here. Forensic marketing. And then we're gonna select this forensic marketing autopsy file. And once this loads up, I want us, now this is autopsy, this is the GUI, the graphical user interface. All right, so what autopsy is doing it has organized things on that source we just opened. It organized that data into different locations, okay? It organized it into different locations over here. All right, so we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Let's start with the, the source, where the data, all this data, where is it coming from? It's coming from this virtual hard disk that we have loaded up into autopsy. You can see all the volumes that are associated with this hard disk. Okay, this is, the volumes are what we're storing data on. Okay, so if we expand this, let's expand three. You, you'll see familiar folders, files and folders like program files, recovery, your users, windows. This is the volume your operating system is using. Yours may not be volume three, it could be a different number, okay? But here, we can tell this is the operating system volume. If we open volume two, we can tell this is the system volume. Okay, this is what the system file is gonna use or the system is using. Uh, these, these files right here are typically associated with our system. Okay. And let's look at, let's go ahead and look at volume one. You know, this, if you're having a hard time reading this string, this hexadecimal, we can just click this strings tab and we'll have the same thing. Autopsy will try to break out the strings that it detects. Okay, the strings tab works also over here. Before we go to strings, we can see this file system that this volume is using. It's using NTFS to store files. If we hit strings, we can see some other strings, try to put it together. And you could do the same thing with volume three. I mean, it'll try to put all the strings together. Okay. Now over here, let's expand this users under volume three. And let's look at Viral's account. See all his files and folders? We don't just have to look at his, we can see everybody. Default user, public users, everybody's account, everything that they're storing, even things they're deleting, we can see it too. All right, let's go to the next section. Let's go to the results tab. This results tab is how autopsy is organizing the data it's found. It can organize it into this container called EXIF metadata, which is just a bunch of pictures. It can detect when things are encrypted. This is password protected. Okay, and encrypted data during an investigation may come off as suspicious, right? Why are you encrypting this data? What's so special about it? In other categories, installed programs, right? Operating system, web bookmarks, web history. OK, 
Okay, definitely spend some time going through this. It's pretty cool how they organize it. Definitely, you know, open up the data, look at it. Uh, if we go to recent documents here, and just look at this jellyfish, JPEG. Right, and we can either see other occurrences anywhere else it has been found, this file. Let's see, what about this? No other occurrences. Tulips, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next section. We are going to use this timeline feature. Okay, let's click this timeline feature to and what it's going to do is organize all of these events right here into a timeline when they were created or started. All right, so first thing we're going to do, let's maximize this. And let's right click this bar on 2017 and go zoom into time range. Then let's right click the bar under April or on top of April and zoom into time range. Same thing with the 29th, zoom into time range. Now this clock, we are going to set it to 1 p.m. And all we have done is filter down the data we are looking at. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, let's click this clock. Where there is no data at 1 p.m. here. Did we click the right date? Are we on the 29th? We are. There is no data at 1. So let's just. Let's go with this. Let's keep moving. Let's, let's click list so we can look at all this data in the list view. And let's see if we can still find what they're looking for. Because what they found is an email file. Let's see if we can find anything similar. Oh, I think I saw one. Here's an email file. Let's highlight this. Okay, it's not exactly the same one that they're on. Okay, and if we drag this up, right, we can look at the details of this email file. Okay, we can see the strings that are associated in it, which is pretty much the email. Get some data about the message. Right. Some headers information, when it was sent, when it was received. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next section. Now the file they found was an email. Okay, and it had a prefetch record, which means the file was probably ended in dot. Actually, we can look at it right here. Oh, well, you can't see it on my screen. But like any other email record, we can analyze it, look at it, look at it from a hex perspective, a string perspective, which is just the raw data. Okay. Same thing here. Some other email files that they're looking at. So let's go ahead and right click this. And what we can do is extract the data. We can even go ahead and look at it in the file structure, but let's extract it first. Save it. Okay. And what I meant by look, if we hit open or view source and file and directory, we come and see where, you see right here, where it was categorized. All right, so it was under the users tab, 
which user viral and then we have a bunch of other emails in here with viral we can take a look at these other emails this might have been the email that they were actually referring to because it looks like a phishing email So yeah, definitely go through this, have fun with it. This is a pretty quick tool. If you're trying to get into forensics, I would definitely spend some time with autopsy, getting familiar with the file structure, understanding how it's analyzing the data. All right, you all have a good one.